day, you guys. I know I am so freaking excited. Today was the day that, you know, if you didn't know already, which I'm probably sure you probably knew, do, but today was the day that Rihanna finally released her new makeup line. Now, yesterday she did go on Facebook Live and she was on for a good amount of time, like all, almost over an hour, um, talking about the line and, a, you know, we got a little bit of a sneak peek of what is available, but last night at 12 a.m., um, 12 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, but it was 3 a.m. over here in Atlanta, her line did go out not only on her website, but on Sephora, it was on Harvey Nichols, it was everywhere. It just completely exploded everywhere. So, I have to tell you guys my <laughs> little adventure today and show you the products that I did get from her line. I am not done purchasing from her line. I actually kind of put myself on a beauty budget because me and my husband said, you know what? Your spending on makeup has, you know, woo. So, I didn't get everything, but I did get, I believe, a good representation of her makeup line and what she does have available. And I'll have to say, you guys, going into Sephora today, I was so excited. The display of her products, the excitement of everyone that was in, you know, Sephora today uh, talking about the line. We were all talking with uh, each other about Rihanna and about her makeup, about her music, everything. So it was just a fun and exciting day. You know, just wait till you see what's in this bag because I went in, let me tell you, at Sephora. But yeah, so I went to Cumberland Mall, didn't get matched the way I thought I should. So I was already on that side of town so I went to the Mall of Georgia Sephora and when I went in there Zan shout out to him I don't know if he wants to be named or not in the video but shout out to him at the Mall of Georgia because he helped me so much with making sure that I got the correct shades and also making sure that um, me exchanging the products and everything went smoothly. I, what I plan on doing is going ahead and just doing an initial showing of the products today. On tomorrow, I plan on doing um, just a little mini routine with some of the products that I have on here just so you can see how it looks on my skin tone. And also, I believe towards probably the mid to end of the month, I'll probably give my final review on these products, if, if not sooner than that. So you're going to get three videos of me talking about her line. Again, I'm so excited about everything that she's done with this line. Now, the first product that I want to show you guys is the only lip product that she has in the entire line, and that is Gloss Bomb. It is a universal lip luminizer. So it comes in this beautiful beautiful packaging. All of her packaging is similar to this, but for this particular um, product, which is her only lip product, um, it is a little bit brighter than the other um, packaging that she has. Certain, certain packaging, I would say, has this type of packaging on the box, and others have a little bit darker of uh, packaging. But it does say on the side that it's an addictive shine, nourishing wear, and universal finishing touch. Now you can, what's cool about these, you can mix these with um, the MAC sticks. And when you do so, all you're basically doing is layering um, some of the shimmer, I would say shimmer uh, MAC sticks with the Gloss Bum Luminizer. And what I love about it is that she's definitely right, it is universal. That is how it looks out of the packaging so you guys can kind of see the color a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it so you guys can see. Just so This product comes in beautiful packaging. It's so fun. It's so cute. It's really chic, but it's like, you know, I don't know. I can't describe it. It's just really, really beautiful. It's in like a kind of rose gold type of top and it has the little pentagon shape at the 
tip with the um, FB on it for Fenty Beauty, of course. And the packaging also says Fenty Beauty in gold on the side. And the gloss bomb actually, I wouldn't say that it is glitter in it because it doesn't even look glittery. It looks more like a shimmer. A light shimmer is in the tint. And I wish you guys could see it um, up close. But if you go into Sephora, they do have um, products available where you can actually try them before you, add, for, before you buy them. So you can swatch this and see how it looks on your skin. You can also try it on your lips. They have that the testers out there as well for that too but um it's just a beautiful shimmer to it it does look great on all skin tones all of us of all different shades in sephora today we're trying it on and i have to say that it looks really really great with all the different skin tones that were in there so it is definitely universal from what i've seen just from people just in the store trying it on including myself and it's very hard for me to find nude shades so seeing this on top of my lips was really really pretty now again it's more of like a shimmery gloss so what's the great thing about it you can use again the match sticks you can also use you know other lipsticks or something like that to go with it as well so i was really excited about this product and i had to again get it because it was only i believe 18 dollars and it's the only lip product so i definitely had to get it because of that as well but again great product she did a really really good job on this one so i'm excited about it and i can't wait to see what other lip products she's gonna you know bring out after this as well next product that i got out of her line was the kilowatt freestyle highlighter duo now with the kilowatt highlighters there are some there's only two that are single ones and that is the trophy wife which is the one if you watched her facebook live last night for the line she had that on um as a highlighter as well as in the inner corners to highlight um her eyes as well um in the facebook live last night but um she also has another one and I believe that one is called and I'm looking down to make sure I cover it you guys that one is called metal moon and that one is more of like a white gold color and then she has four others that are available on her line too the one that I chose and it looked really really in my opinion great on my skin tone was the ginger binge Mos Moscow mule those that is the duo that I decided to choose and it says that it's creamy long lasting and it has endless ways to glow. She is not lying. I'm going to show you guys. First of all, this is the packaging. Again, like I said, it's very different from the gloss bomb that was available and this product is also $34. Um, on the website as well as in store um, but you do get a good amount of product in it as well so and again I do love that it is in a octagon shape because it does have the little eight points I love that it's in a different shape than some of the other product lines that we see out um, in the market right now and then I also love that it's just it's so simple and chic but it's to me again is very very unique because again of the shape and it just simply has Fenty Beauty on the front and then on the back it just has the name and which side that the product is on on this side it is ginger binge and on the other side it is Moscow mule so I'm gonna go ahead and open it okay so these are the colors now initially it looks like it might be a little bit too much but actually when it goes onto the skin it looks very very natural and I will show you guys how it looks um up close and personal on tomorrow when i do um a demonstration of each product but just from the initial swipe of them the i would say that the ginger binge is more of a soft copper uh, tone and it's very very like i said it's very very sh uh, low in coverage as far as it's more of a sheer look on the skin so it looks more like you have a natural glow and then for the Moscow Mule it is more of like the supercharged copper shimmer so it's going to give you more of like a pow when it comes to highlighting so I would say that uh, the ginger binge is more if you want more of a natural look in comparison to the Moscow Mule when you want more of like a bold shimmer where like it'll shine bright from far away so I'm gonna go ahead and swipe both 
it's not hard to swipe they are very creamy so I'm gonna show you ginger binge first that is ginger binge if you guys can see it and again it's right here but it's very very sheer and like I said it looks more natural on the skin now I'm gonna show you guys in comparison Moscow Mule and I'm gonna put it right beside it so you guys can kind of see the difference and that's Moscow Mule right there so you can see even though it still looks a little bit natural it's a little bit bolder when you apply it on your skin especially when you have your foundation and everything on it shows up bold. I'm telling you guys, not just from swatching it today, but also trying it on my own skin while I was in the store today, it really does come go on bold. What's also great about it, and I don't know if I pointed it out, it does include a mirror as well in the packaging, so that's always, always a plus. So again, the Kilowatt Highlighting Duo, and that is in um, Ginger Binge and Moscow Mules. All right, you guys, the next product is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. This foundation is really, really unique as far as it gives you medium to full coverage, it's long wearing, but what was the most interesting aspect of this foundation was that it was light. It felt like it was literally a second skin. Like it was just your skin being applied onto your face. Weird to say, but it was so light that you didn't even notice that you had the foundation on. Let me just put it that way. And what was great about it in my opinion, and when I went in the store and looked at all of the descriptions of the product, it's sweat resistant, it's humidity resistant, and it's supposed to last you for a very, very, very long time. Now I'm actually going to, as I'm trying this out for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to see how long it really does last before it starts to feel like it's wearing off of my face. But the great thing about it is, again, there were multiple... The great thing about it is, again, is that there were multiple shades available and that is what made me attracted to the product. Now, if you go online right now, most of the deeper, darker skin tones have already sold out. And there was only a limited amount available in the stores that I went to today as well. Actually, to be honest, this was the last one I got of my shade. And it's weird um, because I went in thinking I knew my shade. Please don't go in and, and, and do that. If you have to guess or even look, make sure that you test out the products first or even ask some of the makeup artists to help you out because I got the wrong shade again the first time. And I, like I said in the intro, I went in there and I tested some of the shades out, but I did not know, and this is something that when I went to the second Sephora that the makeup artist there told me when we were talking is that she primarily, it seems, matched all of the foundations to your undertone. If you don't know what your undertone shade is, you're either neutral, warm, or cool. And most other brands I am considered to be warm, but in her brand I am only uh, considered neutral so I actually purchased the warm shade and that's why it didn't match because it didn't fit with how her formula is for the foundation but I am 430 and um, Fenty Beauty and it comes in this really cute bottle now I don't think it's more of like a I would say it feels like glass a little bit when you first touch it but I don't think it's it's glass but it comes in this really cute bottle that just has Fenty on the front and then on the back it says shake well and um, I love the white cap at the top again it's very chic you can see this sitting like on your makeup desk or something and it looks really really cute and presentable if you're you know just doing it for yourself or you're doing vlogs or a, a blogging like me and I love I'm gonna go ahead and take the top off I love the applicator little squirt and a good amount of product does come out and it is buildable and I would recommend because when I was trying it on um, earlier today 
I would say that it does start out as more of like a medium coverage but what's great about it is that it is blendable and it is buildable as well so as you build up the coverage you can build it up to full and it a little bit does go a long way I went ahead and swatched it so you guys can kind of see it a little bit and I apologize for the lighting it is nighttime right now here so I was just trying to hurry up and get uh, you know initial reaction to the products for you guys so you can at least see it on the day that the products have been released but it is a uh, blendable and I would recommend making sure that you blend it out because it is a soft matte um, foundation it does kind of mattify feather rather quickly so you want to go ahead and make sure that you get it blended out and then you can also again build the coverage so I would recommend if one pump doesn't cover you know how, or how many ever pumps that you put on each section of the face if that doesn't give you the full coverage that you're looking for I would say or suggest only do maybe one more pump because it does give you a good amount of coverage that initial time and I again will show you guys that on tomorrow all right the last and final product that I got today you guys and again I will be getting more products in the next coming weeks but just you know for initial review for you guys to see I wanted to get I think a good a, again a good amount of range of products just so you can see how great the product line is and how well thought out everything was as well one of the last products that intrigued me and it initially intrigued me from when I first seen it on yesterday as well as on her again Instagram um, on the Fenty Beauty as well as on Rihanna's personal Instagram she has been um, talking about it for a while and there was a video up about it and I was like what is the matchsticks I was intrigued to find out that they actually are able to give you a concealer, a contour, and a highlight. They're available in matte and in shimmer shades. They are individually sold for $25. Now, I just didn't want to pay $25 for each individual shade. I was like, okay, I need a concealer. I want to try, you know, a highlight. I also want to see how well her contour is. So luckily, she has created a package of, of, of three, and it's the same size. They're not different in size or anything. The conceal, you get the conceal or concealer. You get the contour, and you also get the highlight. All three you get for just $54 in this trio. And she has matched it per shade. Um, if you go into the actual store locations, they actually have it pre-matched where they have deep, they have tan, they have light, they have four categories of it. I can't think of the fourth one. But I got, of course, I got deep because of my skin tone. But again, they had the four um, options available, but uh, the deep and as well as three other. And then also they had the matchsticks again sold individually so you can purchase them individually they are $25 a piece if you just want one but for this sis I thought it was a great deal and the coolest thing that was I found intriguing about these shades were that they stay magnetized I mean look at this you guys you can separate them you can magnetize them together you can have them in different shades you can put them in different ways they have the same um they have the same pentagon shape that the kilowatt highlighting duo that i showed earlier had and it's really really cool and unique and underneath it does have the name of the products as well and they're in a pretty i would say light pink uh, shade and packaging I just thought it was super cute that they were magnetic and that you again you can have them separated you can put them in a row together you can put them in different ways I just thought it was really cute how she did it and I'm gonna go ahead and quickly swatch these so the first one would be suede it looks like this and if you swatch it it is right here on my skin and it looks really pretty you can tell it's going to be a nice coverage of concealer now these concealers do turn from cream to powder so if you have extremely dry skin 
I wouldn't recommend using this unless you have maybe a good moisturizer. If you really just want to use it because it is a Fenty Beauty product, I would recommend using a really, really great moisturizer before you actually put it on because it does turn into a powder. It starts off as a cream, but it does powder. So that is just a quick tip for you guys about that. All, this is the contour color and that is in espresso as you can see right here and it looks like this it's a deep dark brown color and then last but certainly not least is the highlighting color in cinnamon and it looks like this and it's more of like a copper tone similar to the highlighting duo that I bought today in Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule and it looks like that it's right there it's a beautiful highlight it does so cute they magnetize together they um come in unique packaging and I love that she did that she didn't um just do something that was familiar or something that everyone else does it's always great to dare to be different and i applaud her for doing that because i have fell completely in love with her makeup line i loved it before when i first heard about it i loved it when she was previewing it all week on instagram and i absolutely love it now again happy fenty day to all of you make sure you comment down below and let me know what you think about these products or if you have any questions you can definitely ask me i will definitely get to them as quickly as possible so you can place your orders make sure you hit that like button down below as well as that subscribe button so you and that notification bell so you'll know when i post tomorrow's video with me actually trying on all of these products and until tomorrow you guys i hope that you have a great day or a great night depending upon where you are right now and I'll talk to you guys then. Bye!